strange noises. I'm a little scared of monsters. I know they don't exist, but I'm still kind of scared. Well, I'm not afraid of anything, much less monsters, since we all know they don't exist. But I've seen some really strange things and heard some really strange noises that I have no idea how to explain. Just because you can't explain where the noises are coming from doesn't mean that they're hidden monsters. Well, maybe you're right. And all the noises I'm hearing are... Ah! Ah! I'm sure that was just the wind. The wind doesn't make that kind of sound. It came from that bush there. Oh, don't be silly, Moo Moo. You'll see that it was nothing. I'm going to hit it with this stick so you'll uh, see there's nothing there. Mm. Let's go, Rita. It's nothing. It's just a... Ah! Ah! Run, Moo Moo! There's a monstrous uh, monster! Uh, don't exist. There must be a logical explanation for this. There are no monsters. When we find out what it is, we'll have a good laugh. <gasps> Moo Moo, tell me exactly what happened. While Rita and I were walking peacefully along the dirt road, we were just minding our own business, talking about important matters, and all of a sudden we heard a loud roar. First, we thought it was Rita's belly, but then, thanks to my intelligence, I deduced that there was a monster hidden in the bushes. Rita took a stick to battle against it. But then she screamed again, and we both ran away. We've got to go and investigate that noise. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? There's a monster. Don't go there. Yes, it's horrible. You can't just go. <sighs> They've left us all alone. Uh, how about we go with them? No! There's a monster! Oh! The monster's hiding behind that bush. What do you think it could be? I already know it can't be a monster, but I'm still scared. Don't you worry. There must be a logical explanation. He's going to devour us all! Run! That sound is coming from some sort of huge beast. At the very least, it's a wild lion. A uh, lion? Oh, lions like to eat giraffe meat. I don't want to be his snack. Bye-bye! Uh, that lion's going to eat all of us. I think that we'd better get out of here right away before it's too late. Milo, we better go home because that lion could devour us in one bite. Yes, Olga, we better go. I'm not scared or anything, but I'd rather go home for a snack. Yes, yes, a snack sounds like a good idea. Moo Moo, Rita, we're going. Want to come? And so what are we going to do about the lion? We leave him here. We don't want to end up being his meal. Yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. No! no! Talalo, oh. don't do it. If you mess with the lion, do he's it. going to no. take revenge on <laughs> us. It's Alfred. He really scared all of us. I knew it couldn't be a monster, because monsters don't really exist. So then, Alfred is a lion? <laughs> <laughs> Why 
is everyone staring at me? Can't anyone sleep in peace around here? Sleep? Yes. But you were snoring like a wild animal. We thought you were a lion. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He breathes with style. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He roars. Rawr! So then, Rita is also a lion? <laughs> <laughs> we all got a bit scared. I knew it couldn't be a monster because they don't exist, but I still got scared. And I was also scared, but just a little bit. Well, I wasn't scared at all. I knew right away it was Alfred snoring. You're a bunch of scaredy cats. Ah! A lion! A vicious <laughs> lion is going to devour us all! <laughs> like I've already told you many times, Mumu, I'm the prettiest giraffe in the whole wide world. Like I've told you a thousand times, you're the only giraffe, and that's why you're the prettiest. I detect envy in your words, and you know that envy is very ugly. The only ugly one here is you. What do you mean I'm ugly? I'm the most beautiful one in the universe. No way. I'm the prettiest one here. There has to be a way to find out which of the two of us is the prettiest. We could ask our friends and let them decide. Olga, can you help us out for a minute? Of course, what do you need? We need to decide which of the two of us is the prettiest and we want you to tell us who the winner is. But that's just silly. You're both very pretty, I can't compare you. You see, Mumu, I'm the prettiest of all. Not even Olga can deny it. Cut it out, Rita. You're both very pretty and I vote for both of you. Rita, maybe Olga's right and we're both so pretty that nobody can decide which one of us would win first place in a beauty contest. Hmm, we'll see about that. Ha ha. Rita can't stop saying that she's the prettiest, but I think that everyone is pretty in their own way. Don't worry, Moo Moo, she'll get over it. flower and this tree what lovely green leaves hello Milo what are you doing I'm taking pictures of the prettiest things in the garden so how come you haven't taken a picture of me Rita I said the prettiest things hey Milo don't be mean to me come on take a picture of me I can't, Rita. I'm very busy and I have no time to waste because I have to submit my photos to the local newspaper. 
Are you telling me that those photos will come out in the local newspaper? Yes. I have to be in those photos. Let me help you. I'm sorry, Rita, but I have a lot of work to do. You're not going to win this one. Please go away, Rita. You're bugging me. I don't know what you're talking about, Milo. I'm just here peacefully admiring nature. Rita, please. Rita, let me take these photos in peace. What? Milo is taking photos of Rita? I have to be in the photos. I'll go talk to him. Now you'll see how pretty oh. you look. Oh. Oh. Now I'm going to show you what a flash looks like on your whole face. Hmm? These two are going to give me the best photos of the year. <laughs> oh. How dare you do that? When I catch you, I'll... Oh. How do you expect oh. to catch me? You're nothing but a big slow giraffe. I won first prize for the best photos. You want to see them? I want to see how pretty I came out. I'm sure I came out much prettier. I've named this photo Crazy About the Flowers. I've named this one Autumn. And this one doesn't have a name. <laughs> What's that noise? Is it a roar? It sounds like a crying lion. It's not a lion, Moo Moo, it's me. Rita, those are roars of a lion. It's my belly, and it hasn't stopped making noises all morning. I think I'm hungry. I'm hungry too, but there are still a few hours to go until we eat. I don't understand why I'm so hungry today. I had a really good breakfast. It's because we've been running around and playing all morning, and we worked up an appetite. I'm really hungry. I could eat a big plate of pasta with strawberry marmalade and chocolate chips. We need to quit talking about food or our bellies won't stop making those noises. You know what just occurred to me? I'm going to go and make something to eat right now. What a great idea, Olga. So what are you going to make? It's a surprise. If you wait huh? for me here, I'll make you something really good. All right, but don't take too long. I'm going to make some tuna and cheese sandwiches. The first thing I have to do is prepare the slices of bread. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I think I better make two sandwiches per person. I'll need six more slices. Now I'll make six cheese sandwiches and six tuna. First, I'll add two slices of cheese in each sandwich and then a little bit of mayonnaise. I'll put two really good slices here and two more here and here and here and finally two more here. Now I just need to put the tops on the cheese sandwiches. I'll do the same thing for the tuna sandwiches. First, I'll add the tuna. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now I just have to cover them. I think everything's ready now. But since they're all so hungry, I should make something really good for dessert. Let me think. 
make them a really big chocolate cookie. I hope Olga comes back soon. What do you think she's making for us? I hope it's something really tasty and delicious. I would love a tuna and cheese sandwich. You're so right, Talalo. It would be awesome if she also made a really big chocolate chip cookie. If she takes much longer, I'm going to die of hunger. I want to eat now. Enough with the noise, Moo Moo. It sounds like a bear growling inside your stomach. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to go see if Olga needs any help. Moo Moo, you'd better not. Olga told us that we should all stay right here. Don't you worry. I'm not going to do anything wrong. I'm just going to help Olga. Don't always think the worst. Hi, Olga. Olga? Where are you? Oh, look at all this food. And it's all ready to eat. What yummy looking sandwiches. Oh. Oh. Nothing would happen if I just eat one, right? I can't. I promised that I'd be good. Well, just one, nothing will happen. They won't even notice. That was so yummy, but I'm still hungry. Nothing would happen if I eat another one. Now I better not eat any more. But I'm still hungry, but... Now there's only 10 left. If I eat another four... Everyone would still get one sandwich each. Nothing would happen. The food is ready. You can all come now. Where'd Mumu go? I don't know. She was here with all of you. She just left two minutes ago to go help you. Then she must be there with the food. She's going to eat it all. No! Well, I just... Did you eat all of it? <laughs> You're gonna get it! <laughs> Don't worry, my friends. I made a lot more sandwiches. But I hid them under the table, just in case some glutton came around and ate them all. We have food for everybody! <laughs> <laughs>